then studied this phenomenon of language very carefully. I mean, it never even occurred to me of visual language. I discovered, however, that nature has anticipated this phenomenon in the organisms that are known to us as octopi and cephalopods. As you all know, as you're probably graduates of those horrible nature specials on TV, octopi can change color. Most people think this is camouflage. It isn't camouflage. It is language. Octopi control an enormous repertoire of what are called traveling dots, blushes, shadings, striping, wavy lines, and a huge color palette. These uh, exterior changes on the surface of the octopus are a direct readout of its state of mind. It wears its mind on its surface. And you may not know, but the third gastrulation of the blastopore in the human fetus, the, it becomes the surface of the body. The surface of the body is brain tissue. The sensibility of very thin sheet of brain tissue all over the outside of the body. That's why there are so many nerves in the skin. So what seems to be being preached in the DMT encounter is the ontological transformation of, into a telepathic mode. Now you may have thought telepathy was you hearing somebody else. Apparently that's not what telepathy is. Telepathy is you seeing what somebody else means. It's the visual acquisition of meaning rather than the audio acquisition of meaning.